My name is Kim Roth, and I'm the art teacher at Chesterton Academy of the Holy Family. I think one of the best things about teaching art at Chesterton is seeing the students begin to blossom in their knowledge of how to approach drawing, how to approach painting. You can see them begin to understand how to reproduce nature in a way that it's faithful to nature. And I think it's the amazement and the excitement, their own excitement, at what they're able to do. At Chesterton, students take art all four years. They take art history and studio art. In the art history course, we begin with prehistoric art and we continue through the modern day with an emphasis on the Western world. The topics in art history correspond in time with the students' literature and general history courses, so there are intriguing connections. In studio art, the students receive a comprehensive course in drawing and painting. In the freshman year, we begin with a classical approach to drawing called the sight size method. Using this method, students learn to draw what they see the same size they see it. This method is a solid method for training the eye to see proper proportion and right shape. The freshmen also learn the basics in art elements and principles, including the element of value and how to shade their drawings to create the illusion of form. In addition to the sight size approach, we cap off the freshman year with a unit on drawing from life in which we use a comparative approach to drawing. That is, we draw our subject any size that we choose while still keeping the proportions right. In the sophomore year, students continue to hone their drawing skills. Units on human anatomy, portrait anatomy, and linear perspective are added. In the junior year, students begin oil painting, and this is an exciting year in the classroom. Mostly, students work in grisaille, which is painting in shades of gray, and they use both a direct and indirect approach to painting. Near the end of the year, they learn how to mix colors. We use the Munsell system to mix our colors and to match the colors that we see in nature. Finally, in the senior year, the students are well prepared to begin painting in full color. They learn from the old masters by selecting a painting to replicate, and near the end of the year, they use their own subject matter. The visual arts are an integral part to learning. They not only teach a student how to become a better observer, to look closely, and to recognize beauty, but how to communicate beauty when words just don't suffice. They also teach how to problem solve and that there's often more than one solution to a problem. In addition, they teach discipline, how to continue working and revising a project until you reach a high finish. My students can complete my sentence. I'll say drawing and painting is a process of, and they'll answer, revision. I think there's a spiritual lesson in that too. We'll be hosting our Fine Arts Festival on Friday, April 26th, beginning at 7 p.m., and we hope to see all of you there.